Let's talk about selecting more than one photo at a time in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Before we get into how to select more than one file, how to pick this and that, let me explain that mastering these skills is essential for efficiency in Lightroom. See, anything that you can do in Lightroom to one image, you can do to a block of images. And this will really save you time when you're culling out your bad photos or organizing your good stuff with star ratings, colored labels, keywords. Working efficiently in Lightroom requires an understanding of the different types of mouse clicks. So let's dig into these scales now and see if we can improve your productivity. For this tutorial, I've added images of a deck of cards into my Lightroom catalog. As you can see here, I'm in the library module grid view. Now, before I pick any of the cards, I'm gonna simplify my screen a little bit by hiding these panels on the right and left away. To do that, all I have to do is hit the tab key on my keyboard. The tab key hides the right and left panel, tab key brings them back. But to go further, if I hold down the shift key with one finger and I hit the tab key with another, I can hide the right and left panels plus the module picker at the top and the film strip at the bottom. So shift tab makes them all disappear. Now I have just the grid. And what you see here are the thumbnails for my playing cards. If I want to make their thumbnails bigger or smaller, I can drag this little slider down here in the bottom right to increase the thumbnail size, or I can use the keyboard shortcut, the plus and minus keys, to increase or decrease their size. Now let's say that I want to pick the two of clubs. Well, to pick the two of clubs is easy. All I have to do is put the mouse over the two of clubs, over the image, and click a left click with the mouse just once. Clicking on the gray space, not the image, but the cell that surrounds it won't do what you want. But a click on the thumbnail will give you what you want here. So I'll pick, say, the two of diamonds. But if you double click, something different will happen. You'll leave the grid view and you'll end up in the enlarged view, the loop view. Well, don't panic. All you gotta do now is double click and you'll jump back to grid view. So to switch from one card to another is easy. Say I want the three of diamonds, I just left click once on the three of diamonds thumbnail and now it's selected. But let's say that I don't want anything selected at all. Well, one way to end a selection is to left click down here in the gray space after your, left thumb, after your last thumbnail. So I can click here, now I have nothing selected at all. Well, now, let's say I want to pick more than one file at a time. Let's say it's the threes that interest me. So I can go to the three of clubs, left-click once on the image, and it becomes selected. Now, I can go over to the three of spades, and with my non-mousing hand, I can hold down the shift key again. With the shift key held down, if I click on the three of spades, I'm going to make a contiguous selection from A, the three of clubs, all the way to B, three of spades. And if you think of it as a little train that drives down the track, everybody it goes through, three of diamonds, three of hearts, gets selected as well. It's a contiguous selection. The shift click picks from here to there and everybody that touches them in between. Now, one thing that's unique about Lightroom is you'll notice that the three of clubs has a brighter highlight than the others. That's what we call the most selected file, the active file. And when you have a selection of more than one, this is Lightroom's way of telling you which one it would say synchronize the metadata or the develop settings from if we were at that stage of the game. If I wanted to switch which one is the most selected, all I have to do is a single left click, and now that one is. Well, let's say now I want the fours. Okay, well, although the fours thumbnails span this gap here, they wrap around, all I have to do is click on the first four, come down to the last one, hold down the shift key, and click. Piece of cake. Now, what if this time what I want are the black fives, but not the red ones? Well, here, a shift click isn't going to work for me. See, that would pick the red ones in between. So instead, I'm going to end my selection by clicking out here in the gray space. I'm going to click on the five of clubs. Then I'm going to come over to 
this guy here, the five of spades. And instead of the shift click, I'm gonna hold down the command key on the Mac or the control key on the PC. With the command or control key held down, if I left click, I'm making a discontiguous selection, meaning I'm picking this and that and not everybody in between them. Well, let's say at this point that I wanna end my selection. Uh, but let's say I've made my thumbnails bigger. I'm gonna use the plus key on the keyboard for the shortcut. Now, scrolling all the way down to find that empty space at the bottom, it might not be there, or that might be really inefficient if I had hundreds of images. So another way to end a selection is to go up to the edit menu, and in the edit menu, if we look down here, we have the words select none, which is lousy English. It really ought to say deselect or end the selection. But despite the poor grammar, it will do exactly what we want. I click select none, now I have nothing selected again. Well now, let's say this time that I wanna pick the entire deck of cards. Well, if my thumbnails are small enough, small enough that I can see from first to last, all I have to do is click on the first one, come down to the last one, hold down the shift key, and in a single click, I've picked all of them. But there's another way to do this using just the keyboard. And that can be quite helpful if your thumbnails were, say, too big or you have too many to see all the way down to the end. Before I show it to you, though, let me point out that in that menu under Edit, there was a keyboard shortcut as well for Select None, a keyboard shortcut for Deselect. Its shortcut on the Mac is Command D, on the PC, that would be Control D. So Command D will deselect everybody. But if I wanted everybody selected, all I have to do on the keyboard, rather than using the shift trick, is go Command A on a Mac or Control A PC to select all. Well now, let's say that I want everybody selected, but not those two pesky jokers. So I could end this selection, start all over and pick them. But let's get a little fancier. Remember how that command click trick added to or subtracted from? Well, all I have to do here, since I have the whole deck selected, is go to the jokers, hold down the command key, and click on one, and click on two. Now I have all of the playing cards, but not those two in my selection. And what if at this point, Let's say what I really want is the opposite. Let's say right now that what I really want are the jokers and not the regular cards. Well, there's a trick for this. Instead of starting all over, if I go back up to the edit menu, I can use the invert selection command to flip my selection over. It would be great if there was a keyboard shortcut for this, but there isn't. Still, it's fast and easy to go from everybody but the jokers to the jokers. And at this point, if I was to hit the delete key, I could get rid of those two silly cards and keep the rest of the deck without having to start all over. Now this trick comes in handy for me all the time. Often, you're gonna have a hundred of one thing and a couple of another. Sometimes, for example, the fastest way to keyword all your landscapes and all your portraits is to pick all the landscape files give them one keyword, then invert your selection, give the portraits the appropriate keyword. Rather than starting from scratch each time, it's sometimes easy to pick one, then flip it over, pick the other. Maybe you have photos of cats and photos of dogs. The point is that working with these skills can save you a whole lot of time and repetitive clicking. So I beg of you, please, Practice these skills if this is new for you. Master these selecting, deselecting skills because it will make your life so much more efficient if you can do things as a block as you begin to work with Lightroom.